Good day, guys. Welcome to Dev for the One v One Valkyrie Tournament, and we are going to jump into match two between Shotta and Natnat. These two fantastic adversaries. We've got Shotta as UK going. Ooh, single elite veteran riflemen. A lot of them. We can see them with the Dalal rifles, and pretty much only that five of them. They're expensive buggers, but they're very, very powerful with their shot. Nat Nat from England, the English Bulldog coming with a regular squad as Japan with a few single SMGs and one elite... Uh, what's that? I don't know what that is. That's an elite SMG. I don't even know there's such a thing. Interesting. Maybe they don't have veteran riflemen to have veteran SMG. Anyway, let's see what happens here. Opening up, Nat Nat coming up. Oh, one guy down. The other guy with a grenade. 80 grenade. Oh, takes out one at least. But he loses his life whilst in the center. Two Dalal rifles, having a bit of a shootout with the MG. Not much firing though. SMG is now going to the center in range, but unfortunately these guys are outnumbered. And because they're outnumbered, they're going to duck away scared. So that's the downside of having elite tier troops, that if you get outnumbered, they start to hide. And now being pressured by grenades. No, nope, not yet. There's not, not stopping just below. No, he's going to continue the push with the grenades. Actually content with just blowing the sandbags for now. That's going to be um, a trouble for Shutter later. It needs to build some more cover. Well, there is the back cover though, I guess, but um, we'll stop uh, him from getting to the position. Some of the Dalar rifle coming from the left. And it's kind of outnumbered already. That, that free to throw grenades from the bottom. And perhaps another <laughs> veteran rifleman is down. And only three remaining, one holding this left side. It should hold. Nat Nat's just got a few SMGs to scout, not opting for a three cap. Even though I dare say he can, definitely three cap. And looks like he is going to now with the recruit squad. Only one guy. 80 grenade, boom, takes out two, nicely placed. And he's holding strong on his own. Grenade misses. Some more, three of them now coming in. Uh, here comes some more reinforcements of the veteran rifleman once again. That's see, is his keyboard broken or something? He perhaps only has that particular button to press. <laughs> That's all he's bought at the moment. It hasn't been working well for him, most of the numbers of Japan so far. But grenade after grenade now. We'll be able to hold one flag on the west, it seems. So the pressure is relentless. That, that coming in with more and another recruit squad. Taking advantage of the 150 HP recruits. In comparison to the other nations of 100 MP, but here comes a Brahamba. What a Humba? Okay, sorry, I, I heard of a Brahamba, but I've never heard of a Humba. Oh no, 80 rifle already from that nerf, but it's bouncing. Oh, it's bouncing. It's oh, so many bounces. <laughs> Lucky it's now out of the way and will focus fire on 80 rifle. And it's, it's taken that. That would have been a game changer right there. Uh, coming to pick it up there, this SMG is going. Brahamba running all the way in to try to take out the guys capping the flag in 11 to 0. Here comes a side shot perhaps or the engine shot. SMG guy. Nat Nat misses oh misses the shot. Not able to hit. Oh there you go. Takes out the humba. What is the humba? The humba is most widely, widely used British armored car. Widely produced. Wow okay. 440 units built. Got shitty armor, 50 mm, 50 mm. Okay, interesting. <clears throat> but now I shot up with another different buy now. At last, a militia squad. And backed up with an assault squad. And Saboteur, not Blackwatch. Going to Saboteur on the right. Very interesting play here. As Nat Nat's still pressuring. He's gone. The Kamikaze's on the side. See them running back. See a little bit faster there. You can see them running back. Sprinting there. Right? The group squad also coming in, but they're getting shot up quite badly. Oh, these Delar rifles. I haven't been able to take out any, just pretty much nearly the whole squad has no health left, but still alive. This one commander left, perhaps a grenade can finish him all off. Oh, <laughs> what happened there? Grenades blowing up in the air and everywhere. Now they're, they're capping for this, going for the three cap. So this is Shutter's last chance to stay in this tournament. Um, it is the first to win two in a row. And we lost the previous one, so I must win this, uh, win, win this game. Nikata. 
AT, AT infantry, Piat doing some good decent work. Very expensive Piat shells though to take out the recruits. <laughs> they say the ammo, ammo does cost a lot better, more than a single recruit guy. Assault squad coming in as well. Look at this uh, saboteur sneaking in between the eastern and centre. These guys are not alone, they're together. Follow me, he says. This guy following directly with his comrade to do damage together. A Chinu out from that nap pretty early. I guess uh, very early because uh, Shutter doesn't really have any of the units that to, to, to warrant such a big tank buy at this stage. He's trying to support this flag now with the HE shell, but this is an opportunity for the for Richard Lee. Harry's going to stay back. But uh, there is nothing stopping. Ooh, this, this guy might come in the way though, this SMG guy. But uh, Shutter should spot this in time before... Ooh, it should possibly sneak away or maybe... Wow, it's walking directly in the path of this guy. Or maybe he's just in the bushes. Oh! He knocked him out. Oh shit, this is... Ooh, this is not good. That that doesn't notice. He hasn't moved the Chinu at all. He hasn't moved it yet. Oh, he's moving it now. Does he know? He's running fast. I think he does know because he's running all the way down here really fast. And these guys are not coming back. He's DCing through this. He's going to get grenade. Oh! <laughs> Richard Lee, far out. What? Oh, I need more time as well. Jesus. This guy took out like two squads, and that's a, that's oh far out. Didn't take the tank, but never mind the tank. That was that was worth every penny, I must say. Well, wow, I never seen a saboteur kill that many units in the entire game. Okay, just gonna say that's 100% uh, right. I'm gonna say that I've never seen that happen in in a tournament game. Of course, of course, if you play noobs, you can take out sabots, take out 20 squads with a saboteur, but. He's playing that nat here, and he's definitely no slouch. Now that Chinu did get away with his life, but now very sparse on infantry, and he's in trouble. Paratroopers going to the right. Misses the guy, but looks like Shutter's uh, pushed up on the center, taking the center point now, taking nat nat's cover as well. Has a Lewis gun in a great position, cutting off the center as well. Canoe coming out. Oh, Saboteur's big. Wow, he's, what a nicely DC grenade. See that track? Super. Boom. Very skillful play by Shutter, I must say. A very uh, skillful player in use of his units when it happens. Oh, it's a uh, risky. Uh, Paris has spotted him down, unfortunately. Would have definitely uh, perhaps uh, charged that Chinu. Recruits now. Paris from that net coming in. But look at that. Well, Shutter's actually came all the way on the right as well. SAS soldiers, with the elite and elite eight uh, infantry. I'm guessing that pushed all the way and cut him off here. Chinu proving to be a buy too early. I think it's it really hasn't made an impact at all. Not even any of the knowing near the top of the leaderboard. And considering how much it costs, it should be infantry killer perhaps was needed. I was maybe predicting that uh, Shutter would go Crusader AA, but uh, yeah, could have probably just left that in the bank for a bit. And Piat for a shot on the Chinu and finishes it. What a turnaround indeed. Shutter punishes Nat Nat. And <laughs> looks like we may be going in. Oh, Jeep as well. Looks like we may be going for another uh, round. Uh, Nat Nat not spawning anything so far. What's he got? He just got the mortar. It's not going to. It'll take a while to make an impact, not much infantry around. Now he's going to try to push up with uh, some infantry here, grenade. Try to grenade his way in, it's going to take a very long time. There's so many of Shadow's troops here with his jeep as well. 4339. Doesn't matter if you hold a 2 cap for a long time. If you can't... <coughs> if you can't stop a 3 cap for... A relatively short time as you can see the flag one's going nuts to shut aside for having this three cap net that really needs to take back at least one flag quickly. Paratroopers coming in to the east. 150mm 
going down to the centre. It's taking a long time to make impact for oh, demolition specialist. Shot a satchel charging the entire front. So if that does manage to take it back, it's not going to be much use. 6239. He's going to finally take back one point. Paras is still in the game. 64 to 39. As long as he captures one flag. <laughs> Shot her with a DC. Oh, look at that. Skillful DCs. Oh, three points of fresh out. This is three points of Royal Commandos. A good time to take it out right now. And <laughs> put an end to the paratroopers' assault. 80 rifle from that, Matt. It's a very soft count. They're going to take a while to get there. Shinya being repaired, but no infantry to do damage. Shata gonna keep pushing, I think. If he does, that her AT rifle will not get close. 6939, 150mm mortar. Due to fully firing at the flag, but again, it's gonna take a long time. Oh, <laughs> Shata's Piazza actually doing more damage than the 150mm at the moment. Oh, this guy has the AT infantry, but shooting his MG. Now finally gets the AT infantry up and made lose its life, doesn't. And takes out the half track in the nick of time. Now gonna AP snipe the commandos. Piatto is gonna take him out. Oh, gets thinking about the stem first. Power is coming in now to try assault. Piat. Oh, takes out three. Look at the skill. MLG action. This is the kind of gameplay that is. Purely uh, the Americas, to be honest. The Jutska, the shotters of the game, is all about the fantastic usage of single units, the, mi the micro, <clears throat> the skillful small plays here and there. Where... Oh, there you go, that that has quit. Um, so it's look, it looks like it's going to go to another game or two. Um, so, so best out of three now. I'm going to replay best of the three. Um, I was spoke to the admin Godwin, uh, basically what happened. <laughs> There's a huge drama between these two players. If you want to know, Shotter and Nat Nat, uh, they, yeah, Sh Nat Nat uh, won the first game, then Shotter didn't want to play for two weeks or something, apparently. I don't know what the reason was. Then uh, then um, when Nat Nat played Shotter, uh, finally in this two week game, Shotter wouldn't let him host, so he didn't host, then Godwin hosted. And because Godwin hosted, Nat Nat said this game is not counted. And there's lots of arguments, so then Jessica said, screw you guys, you have to replay, replay this entire series. Anyway, counting or not counting, regardless, it's now reset because they won a game each, and now it's going to be a best out of three from the start. So it should be an interesting few games. Um, yeah, it's it, the reason why I find it so interesting with these two players, because I can imagine them, if you, if you know them well, you know that there'll be a lot of shit talking and a lot of... Yeah, it's a lot of anger and rage between these two guys, both of them trying to get an angle to win the game outside the match through going going around rules or playing mind games with the opponent. So, um, good luck to the admin play, watching, playing. Um, so, adminning the match, but uh, fun for me to imagine what's going to happen or fun to ask on what actually happened after. So, good luck admin. See you around.